Hi, welcome to Playable. I was recently asked about the checker term, the move. We will go over that today. The knowledge of the move will help you improve your endgame. It is generally advantageous to have the move, but not all the time. The move may be, be, be compared to the opposition in chess. We will show you some examples. I'm going to do it step by step. It's red to move and win. Red goes 11 to 16, and all white's checkers are blocked. Red had the move on white, but usually in the move, it doesn't. You're not concerned in the opening or in the middle game. It's mostly for the end game. We just showed you example this to show you about the move. The second example is more to the point. Here we have white has to move on 21. 21. The red checker on 21 cannot go to 25. White has to move on 12. The red checker can't go to 16. Now if it was white to move and win, white would go 18 to 14 and all three are paired off. White has the oppositional, oppositional on all three and would win. However, we move 14 back to 18. If it was red to move, it would be red to move and win. Red would go 6 to 10, and he now has to move. Uh, white cannot go here, or here, or here, or here. It, so red would win. The third example, just wait, so I wait these are the kings. This is called the gorilla shot. Right now, white has to move on red. But red goes three to eight. White jumps 12 to three, gets a king. That ends his turn. Red goes one to five. White jumps three to 10. And red jumps five to seven. And now has to move on white and wins. I will be going over this a few more uh, in a few more weeks. Uh, we're going to be going over the fifth position and that to explain a little more on the move. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.